Prezidentinin xüsusi nümayəndəsi Emin Hüseynovun baxışçılığı ilə artıq dünyanın 60-dan çox ölkəsindən qonaq olan nümayəndə heyətinə məlumat verilir və hava limanı ilə tanışlıq başlayır. Diqqətiniz bizdə olsun. The airport that was built in just eight months in heavily contaminated territory. There were a lot of mines here. It took us just eight months to clear the mines and build this beautiful airport, which is a proof that Azerbaijan will restore the liberated territories that were 30 years under occupation. Thanks to our supreme, victorious supreme commander-in-chief and our victorious army, the 30-year occupation has come to an end. And now we are walking on this sacred land for all Azerbaijanis. We're very proud of this and we're privileged to have you here with us to witness what happened in 30 years, what it is now, and what will be in future in the liberated territories. So allow me, without further ado, give you a brief introduction about the future, about our aspirations, and then we will be on our way to visit the actual territory, where you can see the ruins, you can see the acts of vandalism, destruction, and then you can put that all in the context. So uh, let me start with first uh, this map. This map actually represents the, the region of Fizuli. We are here in the city of Fizuli where the airport is. This map shows that Fizuli is in a very geographically, strategically important position because it's right on the logistical hub of all the transport and communication lines. This route, as you can see here, that goes along the river of Aras, is part of uh, what we call Zangezur Corridor, that will connect mainland Azerbaijan with Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, and through Nakhchivan to Republic of Turkey, and to the international world markets. Fizuli also have the airport, as you can see, which is, makes it a very convenient place for its proximity to key regional centers, like Adnan, Shusha, Jebral, Al-Jabedi, Beyladan, and the rest of the regional centers of Azerbaijan. So Fizuli right, uh, in its uh, definition as gates to Karabakh. And then we uh, tried to develop the master plan of the uh, city and the region. And we were driven by three important principles. The sustainable development, smart city, and the blue zone, meaning the social city. Active lifestyle, the cuisine, the communication, openness, all these important principles have been taken into account in developing this beautiful master plan. In this master plan, we are envisaging that by 2040, there will be about 200,000 people living in the Rio, in the region. This is the city. And this is the international airport that we are currently in. So, from international airport, we will visit the city center, the old city center. But as you can see from the master plan, two important principles of urban planning have been taken into account. One is circularity. There are a lot of circles. And then another one, straight lines. 
a lot of straight lines. This is important for accessibility and for uh, implementation of smart city uh, principles. Here, as we can see, we have the administrative center, we have some apartment complexes, and some smaller individual houses, four story buildings, one two story building. We have the center of the city, which is the central park, open sky museum, occupation museum, and victory museums. We have all the blues are uh, either secondary schools or kindergartens. And we have main transportation um, uh, uh, stations here, railway station and bus station. This is dotted line is the key railway station. And this is the Victory Route. Victory Route is the highway that was built uh, by the trajectory uh, with which our soldiers went on to conquer Shusha. So by their footsteps, we developed and uh, uh, built this uh, Victory Route. There's another road is being built to Shusha, but we will talk about it later. As you can see, we have two important water reservoirs here, and they are an important source of water for prospective development of the city. Moving to our transportation scheme, as you can see, we have uh, three types of roads here, 20 meters wide, 18 meters wide, and 15 meters wide. And all of them will have special communication uh, lines that will be under the pathways. In addition to these uh, highways, we have also special routes for pedestrians and for bicycles, and uh, also some public transportation. So basically, the transportation uh, map and plan is also ready. There are some pictures we can uh, actually uh, you know, imagine how it will be. In terms of living space, this is the first residential area. It has already started the construction. You will have a chance to see on our way to the city center. And there are seven important districts here and about uh, 12 buildings is under construction right now. And this is how the buildings will look like. And there's a, a smaller scale plan of the first residential complex. We also have some social services, like secondary schools, vocational school, vocational school, hospitals, and kindergartens and they are planned to be placed in such a way that it will be easier to access them uh, by walk without a need for a car. So they are in 500 meters from each other. Every 500 meters you can get to a school, a kindergarten or a hospital. So that's done in order to make less use of vehicles for greener city. This is the central park of Fizuli. Uh, we will have a chance, to, I will show you where it will be when we uh, go on to the city. And this is its uh, general plan. As you can see, there is this uh, river that will be uh, in the middle. There are two different facilities that will enable the population to spend their leisure time very nicely and effectively. There's some uh, picnic areas, bicycle routes, some uh, uh, special uh, gardens with uh, rare species of flora, uh, some uh, <coughs> squares, uh, restaurants, uh, and uh, other facilities like camping and picnic rooms. Ama gördüğünüz kimi Fizuli, Gülhak Havalimanı'nda Cenab Emin Hüseyinov'un 
təqdimatında Fizuli rayonunun işxala qədər ki dövrü, Fizuli rayonunun tarixi, eləcə də Fizuli rayonunun işxaldan azad edildikdən sonra ərazisində görülmüş işlərlə bağlı qonaqlarımıza məlumat verilir və Fizuli rayonunda bundan sonra görüləcək işlər şəhərin baş planı qonaqların diqqətinə çatdırılır və planın da göründüyü kimi işxaldan azad olunmuş ərazilərimizdə yenidən qurma işləri, tikinti quruculuq işləri çox böyük Büyük demək olar ki, tərzə davam edir və işlər dayanmadan aparılır. Hava limanının ərazisindən də yəqin ki, operatorumuz sizə təqdim etdi və şahidə oldunuz ki, doğrudan da çox qısa müddət ərzində gördüyünüz bu hava limanının özündə kifayət qədər dünya standartlarına uyğun əhəmiyyətli işlər görülüb və bundan sonra Fizuli rayonunda görüləcək, Fizuli rayonunun dirçəldilməsi istiqamətində atılacaq addımlar, salınacaq bağlar, parklar, yaşadılar, Eləcə də yaşayış kompleksləri ilə bağlı məlumat verilir. Görüləcək işlərin baş planı artıq hazırdır və Emin Hüseynov bu təqdimatı qonaqların diqqətinə çatdırır. Hələlik bir noxa Kava limanından bu qədər mikrofon önündə mən Sevinç Vagif qızı, kamera arxasında isə operatorum Fariz Quliyevdir və biz qonaqlarımızla təxminən yarım saatdan sonra Fizuli şəhərinin ərazisinə baş çəkəcəyik. Eyni zamanda diqqətinizə çatdırdığım kimi dövlət yarlı qəsəbəsi ərazisində ərazilərimizin minalardan təmizlənməsi prosesini sizlərə canlı olaraq təqdim edəcəyik. Hələlik isə bizdən bu qədər. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, we can answer.